Hello everyone, Lorenzo Quintana here again, bringing you the best of the best here at the WWA4. My guest at this time, Austin Towers. Austin, tonight you go up against the reflection. Do you have a game plan? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say game plan? I'm, I, you really need to do your job because I remember a couple weeks ago, I took on the reflection and I beat him. Fair and square, actually. I, I dismantled that man. But why are you even asking me such a stupid question, man? Matter of fact, get out. Get out. Hey, you know what? Here, take, take your stupid mic with you, okay? Reflection, I don't know why we're doing this again. I really don't. But seeing as how the general manager put me up against you, I guess I'm just gonna take my frustration out on you. Because last week, last week, I can't lie, I messed up. I made a mistake and I lost for that internet bell and I should I should be standing here with it. But no, no I don't. So you know what? Tonight's gonna be a statement. I'm gonna make a statement and I'm gonna make a point and I'm gonna show everybody that not only me, not only Tony Midas, but Factabulous Talon is gonna take over and we're gonna be called the Royal Triad. And you best believe that. Because not only it's a fact, but I'm damn right. Hello everyone, Lorenzo Quintana here, joined by The Reflection. Reflection, Austin Towers said earlier that he doesn't really need a strategy to beat you. He don't need a strategy to beat me. The guy that's so tall could not get the job done because he had to cheat to beat me, to put me down. But you know what, it's fine. Because you know who you're dealing with? You're dealing with The Reflection, and now, that I got my manager back because of Cavern King and his little posse. And I got rid of those summer guns. And I'll tell you something else. I want everybody to get behind the reflection. Because I am the reflection. Oh no, avoiding a close. 
kick to the back of the knee. Let's take a leg too. For a man like Austin Towers, I think that has to be a shot. The legs. Oh, and a big kick to the back of the head. The reflection firmly control this match. Goes for the cover. Austin Towers kicking out. So would that be your game plan then, Johnny? Austin Towers, go for the leg. Yeah. Chop him down from the knees on up. Let me show you guys a little bit from the truth experience. Okay, I'm Jack Ramsey. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. All right? I was an amateur wrestler for oh. five years. I wrestled in a professional ranked indie ranked, if you want to say that, for 15 years. I debuted back in 1979. Okay, I've wrestled opponents who were seven feet tall in the past. What did you do? You would attack their knees. You attack their knees, you break them down in size. Reflection is trying to attack. Austin Towers, over seven feet tall, but can keep up with those of the size of reflection. Very quick, very agile. Austin Towers hoist. Oh! That breaker, ladies and gentlemen. Reflection is. Let's do a sidewalk. And the reflection is not a small man. He's subject to a seven foot giant off tower. Turn this around. That is the tell this matchup here is Austin Towers is dominating or Okay, come on, referee. Austin Towers choking the reflection on that top rope. Take so much punishment here. Oh, no. oh, huge seven foot clothesline to the reflection. Oh my goodness. Referee Freddie Mathis down for the cover, only gets a count of two. Hey, come on, Freddie. Towers only get the count of two. I had to game plan. I had to block from the first of the face. Towers with a deep headlock in. Cuts off the circulation from the head. Dizzy, you start to get disoriented, you don't know where you're at. Off the top. Reflection out quickly, fighting back. Oh, no, what is, oh my god. Oh, goodness. using those. Holding a bias head. Oh, oh, a neck god. breaker. Very unique setup for a neck breaker. You can call this scout. The transition into a well placed neck break on the reflection. He is in that world of hurt. The reflection can kick down deep. That's exactly what he's gonna have to do here. Austin Towers pushing him into a corner. Oh! Big forearm to the chest. Oh! oh what a chop! Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh! The home reflection out of the way. Here's Towers. Gosh, right back to the knee again. Give you a DDT. We're back to an even playing field here. Referee Freddie Madison starting the tip count. The crowd trying to get reflection going here. Referee up to four. Reflection's up first. Oh, a deep forearm to the side of the face of Austin Towers. Rolling out of the ring. Trying to compose himself here. Oh, look what's Reflection doing? Reflection. Suicide dive, but it didn't work even bring the big man down. Oh, reflection going up top. Oh! Diving cross body. That's how you take him down. Both men down outside the ring. You can see the fabulous one, Talon. Oh, yeah. Begging it for this guy to get up on his.
his feet and get back into the ring. The referee up to a five count. Let's not forget about J-Rock on the side. No one's mentioned him. J-Rock, this is actually his first night back. He's been gone for a few weeks. Was injured. J-Rock was out with kidney stones, ladies and gentlemen. But he's back. Reflection hitting it up. Oh! Slams his face right into the back. Here's the cover. the cover. Here's the cover. One, two. Referees are not allowing that three count. Now Talon's up on the side of the ring. Oh no, here comes J-Rock. J-Rock now coming over to the fabulous one. Oh, pulls Talon down. He's going to get on his bad side. He's going through a month of being out with Kidney Stone. Subject to a bunch of oh! fights. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, that was a cranberry cheese maker. He just laid him out, ladies and gentlemen. But no, oh no, here's a distraction. Here's Austin Towers. What goes on? Be quiet! 